oil for the light. Exodus, chapter 25, verse 6. My soul, how much do you need this? For your lamp will not burn for long without it. Your candle wick will smoke if the fire is gone, and it will be gone if the oil is absent. You have no oil well springing up in your human nature, and therefore, you must go to them that sell, and buy it for yourself. Or like the foolish virgins, you will have to cry, My lamp is gone out. Even the consecrated lamps could not give light without oil. Though they shone in the tabernacle they needed to be supplied, though no rough winds blew upon them, they required to be trimmed, and your need is equally as great. Under the most happy circumstances, you cannot give light for another hour, unless fresh oil of grace is given to you. It was not every oil that might be used in the Lord's service, neither the petroleum which exudes so plentifully from the earth, nor the produce of fishes, nor that extracted from nuts would be accepted. Only one type of oil was selected, and that was the best olive oil. Pretended grace from natural goodness, fancied grace from priestly hands, or imaginary grace from outward ceremonies will never serve the true saint of God. He knows that the Lord would not be pleased with rivers of such oil. He goes to the olive press of Gethsemane, and draws his supplies from him who was crushed therein. The oil of gospel grace is pure and free from impurities, and so the light which is supplied by that oil is clear and bright. Our churches are the Saviour's golden candlestick, and if they are to be lights in this dark world, they must have much holy oil. Let us pray for ourselves, our ministers, and our churches, that they may never lack oil for the light. Truth, holiness, joy, knowledge, love, these are all beams of the sacred light but we cannot shine forth unless in private we receive oil from God the Holy Spirit.